That's how hard you do this. So he's broken down, get my cross face, elbow up. Toast my hand to the mat. Bring him right around. Walk it right around. Start to spin left. Once I get to here, my hand on the mat, just slip it off his tricep, bring it onto my own wrist. Once I get this far, I'm going to hop over in between his legs, take my knee, scoop his leg up. I'm going to spin around, spin around, spin around. There's going to be a point here where I can't spin no more. I'm going to fall right over. Once I do that, there's a few things I'm going to do. One, my forehead goes right into his temple. This is going to help me pin him, but also, if I don't do it, he can squirm here. He can pop his head out. His head can just pop right out. So the second you get him to his back, forehead in the temple. He can't do that no more now. Second, bottom knee in the side. Not underneath his lower back, but in the side. Right here, right between the rib and the hip. Dig it in hard. Be a dick with it. This pain is going to help you pin the guy. Boom. Now I'm going to pull my grip into me. I'm going to take my elbows and drop them together. This hurts, right, Cody? <laughs> you have to do all four of those things at once, though. Forehead in the temple, knee in the side, bottom knee in the side, grip into you, and then elbows together. You do all four of those things, it hurts like a bitch. The guy isn't going to be thinking about getting pinned. He's going to be thinking about stopping the pain. So, again, I'm going to break the guy down hard. Up to my feet, get my cross face, raise my elbow. Post behind his knee. Run it up. Drop my grip. Lock it up. Hop over. Take my knee. Scoop his leg up. Start circling. Once I get here, there's going to be a point where I'm just going to fall right over. Immediately get my head in his temple. Scoot out. Get my knee into his side. Pull my grip towards me. Drop my elbows down. He's stuck there. If you do all these, all these things right at the end, you locked it up good, he is stuck. You should always pin a guy with a nice tight foreside. I mean, there's absolutely no reason you shouldn't pin him. So, one more time.